Hello everyone, my name is Wing and I just wing it and welcome to my channel where I make random videos such as travel videos, vlogs, tech reviews, short films and anything about filmmaking. So if you like those kind of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and today's video we're gonna talk about how to rig a gimbal into a dual handle setup. So let's go. So here we are, I'll be showing you how to assemble a dual handle gimbal but first I need to show you what are the components and accessories that you need and we will put this together one by one. Uh, it's probably the same process to any gimbal that you have. Um, I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me in that one. But for this setup, I'll be using the Weevil S Lab from Zion or Zion. And then I have the dual handle from Small Rig, and also I'll be using the A6400 and pair it with the 18 to 105 millimeter f/4 lens. And I'll be telling you why I use that lens in a bit. And also you're gonna need an adapter for your base plate, a Xeon quick release trans mount to easily mount and unmount your equipment, which makes this build a lot easier to. Put together and break it apart when you're done so back to the camera lens i like this setup to begin with because this lens is very versatile because it's a zoom lens and it has an internal zoom in and out so the physicality of this lens does not change hence it's really good to put in a gimbal so that you don't have to rebalance every time you change your focal length all right so in order to assemble all of this equipment into our dual handle gimbal we need to balance our camera first into our gimbal which is the Weeble S and what I like about this gimbal is that it has a locking mechanism so for, it's easy for you to balance your camera and also one tip that I can give you is that you can use a Man Manfrotto quick release plate so that once you balance everything uh, you can just easily mount or dismount your camera by using a uh, Manfrotto quick release plate and not have to rebalance every time you mount your camera in this gimbal. And see what I did there? I just take it out, put it back, and you're good to go. So after we balance our camera to our gimbal, now we move on to our dual handle rig. Now once you get this rig on a box and you open it, it comes with this five pieces that you need to put together uh, comes with a base plate, a dual handle rubber grip and the two arms. Now I have to say that this accessory is not actually made for this gimbal over here. This is for the Crane S3. So you're gonna have to modify it in order for you to attach this gimbal on this base plate. So first when you get this base plate it actually have two pins right here so you need to take that out with a pliers or long nose pliers to take it out just pull it out and then you're gonna need to have this adapter to attach on the base plate so you can mount because it has a smaller thread mount that will fit on this uh, gimbal right here or with your trans mount adapter so now that I took out the pins already so we are ready to attach this adapter into this base plate Alright, so now we have the adapter mounted into our base plate and then we just need to attach the part of the Zion transmount adapter to be mounted on top of the base plate adapter and it's gonna look like this Alright, and then this part of the transmount goes at the bottom of the base plate so it's gonna look like this all right 
and then we will need to attach the arm what i like about this mount is that it has a male and female thread mount so that it will be securely locked in place once you attach the arms together with the base plate and now we need to attach this two rubber grip handle into our arms and what I like about this it's easy for you to attach it with uh, NATO rails so you just slide this handle in place And also, what I like about these arms, that it has the spring-loaded pins or stopper. So once you place your handle, it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna slip through or slip out in the arms. See that? So it's very secure. So you don't have to worry about having this handle slipped out while you're, if it's get loose or something. Now, once you have your desired distance or wideness for your handle in your arms you can just lock it in place by twisting this knob over here and what i like about this handle is that it has a lot of um, tread mounts on the arms or even on the handle itself if you can see it and the handle has a rubber grip and it's very comfy for the hand and like i said uh, the arm has a female and male locking mechanism which makes this arm and handle or this setup very secure so I, I feel very secure about this setup and not worrying about having to break apart and losing your gimbal on the process now this handle actually feels very durable robust and it's built with high quality materials it doesn't feel cheap at all and it feels like it can handle a heavy load now it's time to attach our gimbal to our dual handle so the next step is to just take off this handle or your tripod and then you can attach this gimbal to your dual handle that easily then we can put this one in the bottle and there we go so when you're ready to start filming you can just turn these on and voila all right you can just take this off too here boom see that so you have a lot of grip options when you're filming and it's really easy and for me this is very comfortable to film it like this when you are dual handle because if you just use this kind of like this I don't know if you're filming for a long period of time it kind of hurt your back for some reason I think the weight of just doing your arms like this it's not very comfortable and it's probably taxing the muscles in your back so it's kind of like somewhere between your scapula that's that's where it hurt the most and you know it gets very stiff for a long period of time when you're filming like this so it's better to have this kind of distribute the weight to your arms and you don't get tired easily so I can film like this all day without a problem all right and you can actually have a smooth or smoother move when you are filming like this so you don't have those bouncing in especially when you're running so you actually have more control when you have this set up right here when you're holding a dual handle all right so this is my whole setup so from here you can actually have the option to do more and customize and modify 
uh, to whatever you want your dual handle rig. This handle also has a lot of cold shoe mount so you can attach your monitor, your mics or even some light equipments you can put in here. Future me. And also I just want to say that you have another option to modify your door handle gimbal. So when you have your monitor like this and you have all of the other equipment. So most of the time uh, when you have the monitor you're going to be looking this way so you're going to be looking slightly to the left. So that's going to be a little bit uncomfortable through time. So what you need to do is just grab the arm from the gimbal itself in one hand in the other arm and you're just gonna have to center yourself looking to the monitor while filming so this side of this arm right here you can take it off because you're not gonna be needing this anyway so you just gonna have to distribute the weight evenly on the center so by doing this you evenly um, distributed the weight of this setup so you can center yourself and not being awkward about having the other arm in here so you are centered when you are using this kind of setup so the weight is gonna be distributed to your both of the arms so that's another option that you can do with the dual handle gimbal this is more a little bit of a compact and sleek and if you have the monitor this is the best way to go other than having those two arms but for me I like it wider so I don't really use my monitor when I have this setup so the first version of the modification of this dual handle gimbal is my my choice but if I have to like on a bright daylight it's kind of hard to see on the LCD screen of this camera so I kind of use this type of setup but most of the time if I shoot indoors I don't need to use the monitor so it varies on what type of filmmaking I do or locations so yeah so you have those two options sometimes also if you want to invert this one and put the handle on the bottom some people do it like that but for me the weight distribution is gonna be a little bit heavier on those kind of setup I find this setup like this when your arm is closer to your gimbal uh, the weight is more distributed evenly but like I said it's up to you how you rig it from this point this is the base and this is how I use my dual handle gimbal and hopefully on the next video I'm gonna show you another rig of mine when I am filming a short film this is more uh, kind of run and gun abrupt um, shoulder rig so I'm gonna make a video of that soon so yeah so stay tuned for that one all right so that's it for today's video I hope you find this useful or entertaining at least please don't forget to give this a video a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel if you want more of my videos and click that bell icon so that you won't miss a thing. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.